as you can keep your eyes open, this job is a piece of cake. Anybody can do it. Huh. Piece of cake. Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2023 horror mystery thriller Human Resources, a film that is co-written and directed by Braden Swope, and it stars Hugh McRae Jr., Sarah Jose, Anthony Candell, and Tim Miseradze. Right, the film focuses on a character called Sam. Now, Sam suffers with an awful lot of anxiety. He's applying for all sorts of jobs, getting rejected left, right and centre. And he finally gets offered a job at a hardware store. Uh, I think it's Brooks Hardware Store, uh, which he's very, very excited for. Um, so he turns up for his first shift. He's shown the ropes. Um, by Gene, the guy that runs the place, um, and then he gets set to work. However, this hardware store harbours a dark secret. There is something mysterious going on in the warehouse section that is being locked off to employees. Uh, there seems to be a long list of previous employees that have turned up missing, and Sam, along with his co-worker Sarah, decide to investigate to find out what is going on. Right. What are my thoughts on human resources? Well, this has a really fairly interesting premise going for it. And while this is fairly low budget film, the production values here are all of um, a decent standard. Uh, it's competently directed. Um, it's decent acting by everybody here. They're all of a, a good quality standard here. It's one of those low budget films that kind of rises above in regards to quality. Um, it's not like a micro budgeted film or anything like that. It's well lit, well shot, good sound, good editing, all that kind of stuff. Um, I think the biggest problem that I think most people have with this film, and I as well for, 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 for the most part, is it's pretty dull stuff. There's a lot of promise here. It's one of those films that opens up with um, an employee at this Brooks Hardware um, basically being killed off in like the first five minutes. And you don't see what does it, but you hear this, the, the, these noises. Yeah, But you can basically tell that it's something um, pretty freaky and scary, or it's supposed to be anyway. Uh, so that kind of sets up this mystery. So you're kind of like, well, there's something going on here at this um, hardware store. And to um, put a character in place, Sam, who is suffers with anxiety and all this kind of stuff, was a, quite an interesting creative choice in a lot of ways, because, you know, you he, he would not describe this guy as a, um, a pillar of strength or anything like that. He's actually, he's obviously really anxious all the time. But he's on. He's got a, quite an interesting character arc in this film, in a sense of you know, the fact that he you know he has to kind of rise up and face his fears almost um, in this film. But there is a long period in this film where nothing happens at all. Things are suggested. There are hints of things happening, um, like weird spillages on the floor, locked doors, the odd noise here and there investigating files of missing employees so that it suggests a lot and there's an awful lot of setup and then i think if the last quarter of this film had it delivered i think it probably would have been far more memorable for me because i don't necessarily mind a slow paced film if there's a payoff and unfortunately the payoff in this film i think is going to deeply or um, disappoint a lot of people that actually put the effort in to sit and watch this film. Because not only is it unsatisfying, the reveal or the last quarter of the film, whatever you want to call it, it doesn't make any damn sense to me either. It just doesn't make any sense. It's one of those films, again, and I say this quite a lot in films, you pull at the thread, it falls to pieces. You know what I mean? The plot holes just collapse. You know, there's there's a list of employees that have gone missing. Okay, why has nobody investigated that from outside this hardware store? 
Um, you could try your best to cover it up on the inside in regards to the hardware store, but these people have families and lives and so on and so forth. And it, and I, while I don't want to spoil this, the reveal that takes place at the end, again, doesn't make any sense. Um, and especially when they explain to a large degree what this, what has happened, it, it doesn't make more sense again because there would be people checking out these people that have been going missing. And then there's like um there's a few red herrings here in this film in regards to who is being set up as the bad guy almost um it's it's fairly predictable stuff and again when that reveal takes place as to who is the real villain of the piece or part of, part of being the villain of the piece the other guy's explanation as to what he's doing and why he's doing it makes no sense um, so, and then you get this ending that isn't particularly impactful, scary, um, in any way, shape or form. I just can't describe really how disappointing the last quarter of this film is, if not a little bit more than that. Lots of setup, some good ideas, um, that ultimately fails to pay off, fails to deliver. I'm giving this one a 5 out of 10 because I think the quality is of a good standard. I think the performances are a good standard. The idea is sound and it's competently made, clearly. It's just a good idea that does not give you any kind of payoff by the end of the film, which I think is a real shame because there was a lot of potential here. Not a complete disaster, not by any stretch of the imagination. There are some clever ideas here, um, but... If it sounds interesting to you guys, then of course, check it out. It's coming out early in 2023. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this review. I'll be back with more reviews and content on the channel very, very soon.